And of course, you can see our resident chef is in the house, Alison. How are you, my I'm friend? I'm lovely. How are you? Good. Now, we were talking about off camera earlier on in the week. I said to you, come up with a solution for butter instead of using peanut butter. So you said, Troy, I've got it for you. Yes. What is it? Sunflower butter. Have you ever heard of that? I've never heard of I it. I know. Sun butter is starting to get more popularity, but we were talking, I mean, a lot of parents cannot send their kids with peanut butter and jelly sandwiches anymore. Yeah. Well, not even just peanut, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. You now have to look at everything that's served in a restaurant because not just kids, but adults have so many allergies now. Mm -hmm. Peanuts and tree nuts being definitely one of the top. But yeah. there's also a lot of research coming out now. There's lots of patches now that kids can have put on them to sort of introduce them back into mm -hmm. the nuts to get away from their nut allergies. So where do we start? You're using sunflowers. Yes, yeah, sunflower seeds, which you love. I, they're one of my favorite things I on the ski field. I love your story, yeah. <laughs> I won't repeat that on air. No, but us in Kentucky are not as familiar with skiing, mm. but I just think that's it's wonderful. Are they flavored? Yeah, these are just a little bit salted. So if oh, you can, okay. Ideally, when you're making the sunflower butter, you want to be able to salt it yourself. So you yeah. want to find the raw sunflower seeds. Okay. But you know what? I was was in a hurry. I ran in, and I just like a lot of moms. Grab. Go with what you got. So okay. um, we got the roasted salted. Yeah, so they almost have like to a barbecue it. flavor with the salt. On there, it mm. almost tastes like a barbecue flavor. I'm, I love sunflower seeds. I'm so glad totally you're going to love this. Yeah, this is going to so. be your go-to. <laughs> this is going to be the go-to <laughs> newsroom snack now. Okay. All right. So what do we do? Pretty All simple. All right. So pretty simple. We're going to take the sunflower seeds and a food processor. You do want a food processor, um, just to be sure. Okay. And uh, we're going to grind these up. So it might okay. be a little loud for a second. And it's something we already did beforehand to see if it was going to be nice and yeah. fine. So you just want to get it fine, and then we're just making the butter from that stage. Oh. So now that they're nice and fine, which it takes literally like less than five minutes to make this whole thing. Right. So if you're like a mom and you're looking for um, just an easy snack, especially yep. if you're home on a snow day, you can kind of have these things ready and be good to go. Um, we're going to add in some coconut oil, which... We've used all, all week. week. I love it. I'm in love. We're all talking about the healthy options when it comes to oils and what is the best solution mm -hmm. for us. And you know, you were saying there were a lot of benefits to the coconut oil. Yeah, as well. it's a natural fat, so it's not trans fat. It's a monounsaturated yeah. fat. Um, oh no, you did off. not. No, I didn't. I did it, but I thought, look, I've told everyone I can't cook. Knife skills, 101 yes. at Wild Time, coming up. <laughs> so we've added coconut oil to our uh, sunflower seeds, and then we're going to add in some honey to kind of sweeten it up. Yeah. And you could also sub in uh, maple syrup with this if you didn't want to oh, use I the honey. Oh, I love maple syrup. Mm-hmm. Love. And Alison, why am I chopping up apples? We're going to serve apple slices oh. with the sunflower <laughs> butter. So we're going to like dip the apples in the sunflower butter. Okay. And then good. I'm also going to add just a little bit of cinnamon. So oh, really, you yeah. could kind of take this a lot of different directions. Yeah. But I think cinnamon, maple, or cinnamon and honey with yeah. the uh, sunflower is just going to be the perfect little combination. You said a few weeks ago when we were cooking, I was supposed to do Yeah, something. leave this one and I'll do one myself. <laughs> I just thought, so I I've see got what all you the did. seeds on this. No, that's okay, because you just cut it straight down the core, which a lot of people do. But what I'll do is I'll cut around the core. Oh, thank you. And that gives it a flat side. And then you can just cut nice slices. Okay. And you don't have to worry about those pesky seeds. Do so you like how she jumped in and, and just took one apple away from me? Okay, let's mix this up. All right, so we're going to finish this up. More. Yeah, yeah. A little bit more honey, but you can see how it's starting to kind of come together. Oh my gosh. And pretty much that is it, my friend. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh wow. So you have your homemade uh, sunflower Does butter. Does that have a smell? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. That smells good. And then I just want you to just kind of take a little taste. We could oh, let it go okay. a little bit finer. I mean, the more you put it in the processor, the longer it works, the smoother that it will get. And you can just add a little bit more coconut oil. Oh, crew, crew <laughs> here is going to love this, Alison. It is absolutely divine. One of the things that I love about your business as well is that mm -hmm. you also cater for kids 
inside. So you've got kids cooking schools as well. We also do a lot of kids' birthday parties I love every it. weekend. I so. love it. Thank you so much. As you know, if you want to find this recipe on our website at wtvq.com forward slash Midday Kentucky. Of course, also, we post it on your Facebook page. Mm -hmm. We post it on Midday Kentucky Facebook page. It's all over the place. We really appreciate it. Oh, I love it. You have been so busy. We're going to get ready for Christmas, and yes. we're going to be crazy busy yes, in the I kitchen. Yes, and I think uh, next week I'm going to be doing some Christmas candies oh, and sweets. Oh, perfect. I love it. And, of course, we want to do a big shout-out to Creative Kitchen and Bath yes. for allowing us to use their kitchen while yours has been under construction as well. Not a bad place to be. <laughs> exactly. We'll be right back, everyone. Nice.